premiumbeat.com audio jungle the music bed you know those websites that i'm talking about the royalty free ones where when you get done with a client project and they finally give you the go ahead to license the music and you get into your editor and you have to replace all of those cuts well in a perfect world if you were using preview music from some website that had a watermark on it and then you purchased that music and you wanted to replace that footage inside premiere pro all you would need to do is right click on any part of that music that you're using in the timeline reveal in project, then right click on that file, go to replace footage, and then you would find the full quality unwatermarked song on your computer, hit open, and just like that, Premiere Pro has switched out the watermarked file with your royalty free version. But that's in a perfect world. What may end up happening is you getting a file that looks like this. And we don't want that. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix this issue. If you would like to learn how to do that, <laughs> Well, you're in the right place. My name's Javier Mercedes and I love making video tutorials. I'm just gonna get into it because I don't wanna waste any more of your time. If you like that, go ahead and hit subscribe. I love you guys. I like making videos too. Inside Premiere Pro, we have our preview piece of music that we can download for free where they still have the watermark on it. Audio jungle. Ooh. Coming for you in your dreams. It's the Audio Jungle watermark. With a website like Envato's Audio Jungle, here is the preview. And then after it's purchased, here is my full quality audio files. Do you notice something? You get four files instead of one? That's amazing. Except it's not because none of these are the same exact duration as my preview file, which is a big problem. I really wish Audio Jungle would regulate these kinds of things for the users that upload the music to that platform. And I'm speaking to people that actually do upload their royalty free music to Audio Jungle. Stop doing this. Stop. Make one master export that's the exact same as the watermarked file and not this sh full, short, pint sized, whatever it may be. If you're doing this, stop it right now. You're making video editors lives so much harder. So I'm going to show you what the problem is here. And I'm just going to color my preview file, the one that still has the watermark on it, a different color, just so you guys can really see the difference here. Here we have the very first file. It's the full version, right? So if I think it's the full version, that means it's going to match just right up to my other version. Uh oh, would you look at that? It's not the same duration. So how am I supposed to go in here and replace my footage if it's not the same duration? Then you might think to yourself, well, what if I just take this short version and butt it up right next to it? That's not good because they're not the same duration again. So if I were to replace my footage in my edit, everything's gonna be all whopper jawed. And that's right, I'm bringing back the term whopper jawed. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. We're going to right click on our audio file, reveal in project. All you have to do, and this is how easy it's supposed to be, is right click, go to replace footage, and find on your computer where you downloaded that full quality audio. So this is the full version right here, but we already know it's not the same duration. I'm gonna hit open and oh, look at those zebra marks. Isn't that fun? And here's what the piece looks like when it's in the cut. This is the angry editor Javier Mercedes on the video today. The reason why you're getting this zebra pattern right here is because you have a duration mismatch between the preview file and the full file. And here is where things may get even worse. You may ask me, well, okay, this didn't work, Javier. We're just going to undo it and you're gonna show me the real way how to do this. Well, guess what? When you hit the undo button, it won't bring back the preview file. You are now bound to that file that you replace the footage with. You can't undo a replace footage. The only thing that you may be able to do is hit replace footage again, find the preview file that you originally had in there, hit that, and then bring it back. So you can't even go undo it for this reason. And so you don't mess up any of the hard earned project that you've been working so long on. What I do before I replace any footage is I go up to file, save a copy, and just save a copy of your Premiere file before I replace any of my footage that I can go back to. Now let me show you the correct way to replace footage when you get these mismatched files from these royalty-free websites. What you need to do is go to your full quality, non-watermarked file, 
these kind of files will vary from the folders that you download from your website, but hopefully this example represents somewhat of what you're looking at. So here's that full version. Here is that short version. To begin with, I'm going to start to line up my audio waveforms here. Zoom in as much as I can. This looks pretty close, but I know I can get closer. And the way to do that, go up to your sequence, click and show audio time units. Now I'm gonna be able to zoom in even more. And now I'm gonna move it into place. I'm matching this top hill with this one right here. That looks about right. Now I need to match up this file with the top and look at how far that's off. Move it over. Audio time units are different than frames. These could vary from, I think 44,000 samples per second as opposed to 24. So there's a lot going on. You have way more manipulation of the file at this point. That looks pretty close. Now we are ready to create our own usable replace footage file. To begin with, I'm gonna switch off audio time units. I'm gonna highlight the top track and unenable it. That's that preview track that has the watermark on it. I'm also gonna mute it. You could do either of these, but make sure you do one of them. Next, we need to make sure that we're going to export the exact duration of our watermarked file. Grab the handles of that top preview file and stretch them out to make sure that you get these little gray triangles on the sides of your clip that shows you that it's the end of the clip. Highlight it, set your in and out point by hitting the question mark key. Go to file, export, media, and at this point you can choose to export an mp3 or a wave file. .mp3s aren't as high quality as .wave files. If you were going to do an mp3, go all the way to 320 kilobytes per second stereo and that's going to give you the highest quality mp3. If you were going to do a wave file, you can go to wave form audio, 48 kilobytes, 16 bit, call this consolidated and then the name of the track. Hit save, export. And now we are back to the same scenario that I just had, where we need to replace our footage in our edited cut. And how do you do that? Again, we're gonna start with step one, reveal in project. Now we are looking at the preview watermarked MP3. I'm going to right click it, replace footage. Go to that consolidated file that we just exported, hit open and Look at that beautiful replace footage with just the click of a button, even though we had to do some other clicks to get to that click of the button. But now you don't have to do anything else except export your project as it was meant to be consumed. I hope this tutorial has clenched your curiosity when replacing footage from a royalty-free music website into your Premiere Pro session. And if you get a mismatch on the duration with those zebra stripes, well, guess what? Not anymore, because your boy. If this is one of your first times seeing one of my videos, I would love to see you again. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and all the dealy dads with the doodly doos with whatever YouTube's up to these days. My name's Javier Mercedes. I hope you are out there living a life of abundance. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Love ya.